Welcome to Securing America with me, Frank Gaffney, the program that's a kind of owner's manual for protecting the country we love against all enemies, foreign and domestic, to the glory of God and his kingdom. We have a lot to cover with our extraordinary guests, but first, here's my take. In Poland last week, President Biden threw rhetorical matches into a potential nuclear tinderbox. This suggested that the 82nd Airborne would soon be in Ukraine, and his subsequent declaration was even worse, namely that Russian dictator Vladimir Putin cannot remain in power. These comments invited preemptive action by the Kremlin. A powerful webinar sponsored by our Committee on the Present Danger China last week, entitled Preventing Nuclear War, This Is No Drill established that given Putin's doctrine, preparations, and paranoia, such loose talk could well precipitate his first use of nuclear weapons. I urge you to view this must-watch two-hour video at presentdangerchina.org. The speed with which the White House walked back both statements suggests the magnitude of the danger. It also made clear that Joe Biden is not in charge. Unfortunately, far less clear is who actually is running the country. Several conclusions follow from this latest Biden debacle. First, it's time for Joe to go. If loose lips could sink ships in World War II, today they can precipitate unimaginable mass destruction. President Biden's manifest and escalating infirmities disqualify him from serving further as the nature's command, nation's commander-in-chief. Even if, der, if, you, if Mr. Biden were not medically unfit, he would be, by the extent of his compromise by hostile powers, including both the Russians and the communist Chinese. The magnitude of this travesty is now being exposed, thanks to Jack Maxey's forensic examination of Hunter Biden's laptop. Second, if President Biden won't do the honorable thing and voluntarily resign, perhaps citing health reasons or a desire to spend more time with his crime family, the 25th Amendment must be invoked to remove him. And third, as a necessary safety net on the elevation of Kamala Harris to the presidency, a new nonpartisan vice president must be appointed and confirmed, one with a robust national security background who will promise not to run in 2024. That individual, ideally a highly accomplished and regarded senior retired military officer like General Jack Keane, should be principally responsible for the formulation and conduct of the administration's foreign and defense policies in this dangerous moment. The next two years are going to be extremely fraught for America and what's left of the free world. We cannot safely navigate them with the present leadership and must move now to put a new, competent, and patriotic team in place faithfully to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Let me turn now to our first guest. He is Kevin Freeman. He's a chartered financial analyst by training and host of Economic War Room on Blaze TV and other platforms. He's the author of Secret Weapon and Game Plan, and I'm very pleased to say a regular here at Securing America. Welcome back, Kevin. Thank you, Frank. Well, I've sort of laid out my sense of where we are, uh, Kevin, and I'd be very interested in your take on it. Um, you are a member of our Committee on the Present Danger of China. You didn't participate in our program uh, on uh, preventing nuclear war, but I know you're keenly aware of just how dangerous this moment is. Your thoughts on Biden, both Biden's you know, performance last week in Poland and more generally in Europe and what we need to do now? Well, there's no question, Frank, that uh, the president of the United States carries a heavy burden. And one of those burdens is to speak carefully. And President Biden seems unable or unwilling to do that. Uh, that puts all of our nation at risk. He unfortunately is a loose cannon at this point, even as perceived by the White House insiders. I mean, they're having to walk him back repeatedly. 
they're having to pull him off stage. He walks on stage and and basically says, am I allowed to do this? Am I allowed to say this? So I'm going to get in trouble if I stay or things like that. I mean, it's uh, it's incredible, which raises the question, Kevin. I mean, you follow these things very closely. Do you have any idea who's actually running the United States at the moment? Uh, well, you, you know, historically, we've had circumstances where Woodrow Wilson was incapacitated and his wife uh, really ran the government. I have no idea. I don't know if it's Jill Biden, the first lady. I don't know if it's uh, Kamala Harris. I don't know if it's insiders. And that's a dangerous thing in itself because there is no accountability. There is the whoever's running him is unelected. And as a result of that, uh, we're now being held captive as a nation. Right. So this raises the question, what do you do about it? Um, I've proposed that Joe should do the honorable thing and resign. Um, I, you know, in the past, I think in the course of the election, if memory serves correctly, he suggested that he may at some point simply say, look, um, I'm not medically um, up to this at the moment. Uh, I, I will resign. Uh, failing that, uh, do we have any other recourse really at this point but the 25th Amendment? Well, there's the 25th Amendment and there's a the potential for impeachment. I mean, if he is compromised by foreign powers, the Congress needs to act. So the cabinet or the Congress both have an opportunity to step in and preserve the nation. At moments of extraordinary crisis like we're facing, uh, good men and women must do the right thing for the sake of the country. And I think this is one of those moments. I'd like to just ask you a bit about this compromise business. Uh, as you know, Kevin, our Committee on the President Danger China has uh, sponsored uh, great work by Trevor Loudon and Sam Faddis at uh, accountabilityinitiative.org, where we've not only talked about the problem of Joe Biden's compromised by the Chinese Communist Party, but we've talked about that of much of his senior um, administration. Um, Jack Maxey has been doing some incredibly important work um, with a sort of forensic deep dive on Hunter Biden's laptop. Uh, some of the information that he's teased out of it, uh, mostly in the form of uh, sort of following the rabbit holes uh, into various things that were sort of referenced or cited, but um, the links were not pursued by the people who've looked at this uh, hard drive from hell, as it's called, to this point. Um, what is your take on what we've learned so far? And do you think it rises to the level of, uh, well, high crimes and misdemeanors? Well, when you look at just the very simple facts that we know, laptop or no, we know Burisma, we know Ukraine, we know energy policy, we know uh, Chinese uh, investments and so forth, that alone deserves investigation and, and it should be investigated. And, and it should be investigated by the, the media uh, as one of the beginning points. And unfortunately, that's not happened. Uh, as you look further and deep deeper into the laptop, you see what appear to be multiple crimes. If you or I had a laptop of that nature, I have no doubt we would be in jail at this moment. Uh, and, and so, yes, it needs to be investigated. It needs to be investigated in congressional inquiry. It needs to be investigated by the Justice Department. It needs to be investigated by the American people and the media and so forth. It, it is full of so many um, things that suggest corruption uh, and then you have the, the president talking about his son so glowingly. I mean, th this is not a good kid I would be super proud of, but he says he's the smartest man he's ever met or something along those lines. This, this is a very dangerous situation. And again, it goes back to your first point, compromise. Yeah, especially by our mortal enemies, uh, notably the Chinese Communist Party and arguably the Russians. Uh, we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more with Kevin Freeman. We're going to talk a bit about what do we do next uh, beyond the impeachment or resignation to fill the void. That and more straight ahead. <laughs> 